Hi, I'm Mike Boyle. We're going to talk a little bit about supersets today and how supersets can help you improve the quality of your workout. What we're really going to talk about, supersetting is an old bodybuilding concept. And I think initially with the idea of supersets, we were thinking about moving rapidly from one exercise to another. In the strength and conditioning world, when we're talking about supersets, what we're really talking about is pairing exercises. And what that really comes down to is a concept, what we're going to call density. And basically density is how many sets can I get done? Let's, we'll use a simple concept per hour. How many sets can I do per hour? If, for instance, I go out and I say, okay, I'm going to do all my split squats and I'm going to do three sets of 10 and I do 10 split squats. And then I put my dumbbell down and I rest a couple minutes and then I do 10 more split squats. Obviously, if I'm resting, we'll just use two minutes as a round number, then I'm going to be able to get somewhere around 20 sets per hour. If I pair or superset my exercises, in this case, let's just say we are going to superset an upper body push with a knee dominant exercise like the split squat, I can double the amount of time or the amount of work that I get per unit of time. I can get a much more efficient workout and not be worried about, oh, I'm working you know, muscle groups, I'm tiring myself out because I'm not going to do that. We're going to take non-competing muscle groups. So what you'd see here in this superset type workout, same idea. I'm going to do my split squat. So I'm here, I'm going to do 10 split squats on each leg. I'm going to put my dumbbell down. I don't need to rush. I can rest long enough. What I tell everybody, let your breathing pattern come back to normal. If I'm still panting, it's not time for the next exercise. But during my, what would be my two minute rest before my next split squat set, I'm simply going to do a set of some type of upper body push, like a push up or a bench press. But the idea now is that I've worked my pressing muscles. I've worked, if we want to talk bodybuilding language, I've worked those chest, shoulder, and tricep muscles. I've worked my glutes, my hamstrings, my quads. I'm resting my glutes, quads, hamstrings while I'm working my upper body pushing muscles. Then I'm going to bounce right back here and I'm going to do my next set of split squats. And I am simply going to alternate between exercises. And so now I'm efficiently using what was just rest time. This is one of the most fundamental things you need to do in your workout. You can't be sitting in the gym for two or three minutes between sets waiting to do the next exercise. This idea of supersetting or pairing, increasing the density of your workout is going to be really critical because we're talking about we need to get strength, speed, plyos, warm up, conditioning. All this stuff's got to get done in a set amount of time. Supersetting or pairing exercises is going to do that for us. The other thing that may help an athlete here, you are getting a low intensity cardiovascular workout. One of the things that we've seen because we have some of our athletes working out with heart rate monitors on is that by pairing exercises, a lot of them will stay in that kind of low aerobic zone in that 120 to 130 zone because they're not simply sitting and resting. So there's probably a low level cardiovascular benefit to doing this type of workout where you're pairing your exercises. But the whole thing is this concept of density. Make better use of your time.